He was going to collect documents for his forthcoming marriage, but Jamal Khashoggi never came out of the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. As his fiancée waited outside, behind the closed doors, he was being murdered and dismembered. Today, after a trial condemned as a sham by the international community, Saudi Arabia said five men have been sentenced to death for his killing. But those closest to the kingdom's crown prince were cleared. A CIA investigation had earlier claimed the men were acting on the orders of Prince Mohammed bin Salman, something he has always denied. The United Nations continued to demand an independent criminal investigation into who ordered the killing. So the trial really um, went after those that had the least uh, capacities to defend themselves. It went after the hitmen and it let the mastermind go free. At the time of his death, Jamal Khashoggi was working for the Washington Post. Today, Fred Ryan, the Post publisher, said the complete lack of transparency and the Saudi government's refusal to cooperate with independent investigators suggests that this was merely a sham trial. Those ultimately responsible at the highest level of the Saudi government continue to escape responsibility for the brutal murder of Jamal Khashoggi. It is over a year since that murder, but for all the international outcry, there remains as little chance of real justice now as there was at the time of his killing. And Emma joins me live from Washington, where Jamal Khashoggi worked in the final years of his life. Emma, how likely is this to be the end of the matter? Well, I think that there will be a continuing call for an independent investigation from the UN to be able to look at this situation properly. But the reality is that is very unlikely to happen and that in the end, global politics and international allegiance is going to take precedence over the importance of human life and the right to justice. The State Department today said that they welcomed these important steps when referring to the convictions, but there has been no strong condemnation from Donald Trump or anybody else within the US presidency. And of course, the Trump family, particularly Jared Kushner, his son-in-law, all enjoy warm relations with the Saudis, and they also have important geopolitical relations there as well. It's interesting to note that at least two of those who've been acquitted are subject to sanctions here in the US. We'll see in the coming days and weeks whether or not they're lifted. But whilst all this discussion goes on, it's worth remembering that Jamal Khashoggi's body has never been returned to his family and they have still not been able to lay him to rest.